dear friends. Welcome to Stitch Mania part four. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm still sticking with my plan. That's amazing. Uh, so, um, my choice of my fourth start, this crazy stitch hate mania was or is Treasure Quest by Randall Spangler. And I will insert a picture here so you can see um, the design. I have not made a stitch with me or a stitch and chat video this time. Um, I wasn't feeling too motivated to uh, doing it and I just wanted to also just make um, a shorter quick um, part for for stitch mania I, I want to mix it up a little bit so um, so yeah now you know which one I um, stitched on and I have my camera in a completely new angle because as I told you so, some time ago I broke my um, this thing uh, which I usually have which I have my cap my phone on when I make when I make my floss tubes and uh, and I broke like the thing holding the, the the phone so I can't have it there so I'm trying something else I don't like it but it will have to do let's get back to the design so treasure quest Randall Spangler how far did I get I stitched about 7,300 stitches in the past six days. Like so. And it is on 25 count. It's the magic guide. Uh, I love this fabric. It's just too bad. It's a 20 by 20 uh, grid. Um, so I tried. I'm holding it the wrong way. Jesus, come on, Linda. <laughs> Whoops. No, it's actually disappearing. I don't know if you can see it here. I tried one of those um, markers. So which way is it? It's this way. 7,000. And I'm, I'm ten, ten stitching it as well. Here we go. We're ten stitch. We, I am ten stitching it. So I think it's okay. I, I think my average, if I have a good stitching week, I would stitch around 3,000 stitches, full crosses. So I think 7,000 is quite okay. And I didn't fully kit this thing up. I had a long time ago just bought the colors where I, which had, you know, more than one skein in the pattern. So I was thinking I'm never ever gonna, you know, finish stitching all the, these colors. Um, so I decided maybe I should go like with the extreme cross country and that was the plan because then where is the color? Um, it was like around 6,000 something stitches with the 814 and I was thinking I should be able to stitch that many in six days and then I would be finished with the color where there is the most stitches on in the treasure uh, quest. However, at some point I was getting tired of the color and I was like, well, let's just do some other colors. So I did. So I decided to stick with like the top left corner. And after a while I was feeling like I was just stitching a blob of brownish color and I was thinking what am I stitching what's what what is happening 
in this corner. So I had to go back and look at the, the design. And then I noticed that there is a face of a, I guess, a pirate. And then I saw it, yeah. I think I can see a face, but yeah. But otherwise it's been, it's fine. The coverage isn't the best. It looks pretty good on camera, but in real life, you can see through the fabric here in the darker colors. Um, but 10 stitching is so easy. It goes fast, you know, and the only thing when it's difficult is when you're going to count. Sometimes I miscount on one stitch because it is 10 stitching. <clears throat> so, um, I think that's it. I don't know if I have more to say. I'm stitching on 25 count, 10 stitching. This is the colors and the thread system I decided to have with this kit. Um, I didn't park, I cross country stitched. Um, oh yeah, something else I tried on this one. I've been watching Komari, which so many of you uh, have, um, R2 and has told me about and I'm very glad you did. Uh, I don't know how she does it, but she doesn't start or ends her threads. She just leaves a tail on the back and it looks like a mess when she shows when she's filming the back. Uh, and she I mean, she has stitched so many heaven and earth, so many. So, I mean, it has to work, whatever she's doing. And there is a lot of time saving there. So I wanted to try if it's really, you know, so I'm going to show you my back of this. I, I don't like it, but I think it, I think it works. So I have, I, I, since I started 10 stitch with um, two threads, I'm doing the loop start. So I haven't started that many threads without the loop start, but I have left the ends of, you know, I made half a pin stitch just in case. And uh, yeah, you can see all the ends. And it looks a bit too messy and I am afraid that some of them will, you know, um, let go. So I, I don't know. I, I, I will do it on this. I'm not sure I will do it on the others, but I had to try. And it was kind of nice just to, you know, pull your needle needle away and you don't have to turn your project over or you know make a pin stitch or leave a tail on on top which will be in the way sometime so yeah it, it's it's fun to try uh, out different things so you you get an opinion about it what a second what <laughs> we're gonna cut that out Anyway, uh, also what is a bit different on this uh, fabric is that uh, it is uh, some kind of tape instead of, I usually, I, well, usually, I always um, search my fabric before I start. I cannot stitch on anything without searching the edges. No, 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 no. And I cringe when I see people on YouTube who hasn't searched th their fabric. I'm like, that, that, that for me, that's like a big, no, no, I know it's doable. So don't, but for me, it's like, I get ex like anxiety if, if uh, it's not searched, uh, no. But I, I got um, this piece. I think I made a switch from someone many years ago I think 
it might be somewhere like on the bulletin board from on heaven earth and she had put tape on the fabric so that's different too it seems to work fine uh yeah so that that's all uh, i'm gonna keep this short uh, because today is a new start. It's my last Heavener start this month. I have a few new, uh, one. I have one more Heavener start this summer. I will tell you more about it in my coming floss too. Anyway, let's stop talking and let's get back to the Stitch Mania. Have a great week and I will see you in another six days. Bye!